I've got uh, a tutorial for you guys to do which is the player reference device and let's get straight into it so as you can tell there's a lot of different things but we're going to start from the very basic so this is what it looks like when you pull out the device this is what it looks like and then you can turn off the hologram and turn off the base of the hologram which makes it just and also there's these three poses you can choose and yeah you can choose different colors and different like um different levels of the strength of the hologram you can choose different levels of it that's 40 that's 30 that's 20 and that's 10 and then there's different colors here and you can uh stat track it to uh, anything well not anything but only these three things and uh, i'll be teaching you how to do that right now so let's get straight into it. So the player reference device is basically what it says. It's a reference for the player. How many eliminations they're on, how many times they've been eliminated, their score. It's kind of like a scoreboard, but worse in game. And you can see your player model. So yeah. Uh, show hologram basically means show the character or not. <laughs> Simple. Uh, change colour if you want. So we're going to make it red orange. Why not? We're gonna we're gonna change it, the effect hologram to none because it's cooler that way. Visible during game, you can just have it turned off if you want. <laughs> you can change the uh, animation to to uh, you can change the poses to wherever you want them to be. You can show the base if you want or not. You can make him flow or make him just in the ground like this if you really want. Let me just let me get you in the ground perfectly. Oh, that's good enough. That's good enough. <laughs> um, show player details. You can basically where do you want it to be above or below? Like where do you, mid below? We're going to do below because that's normally what you would do. Uh, but yeah, below player, large, large curve, medium curve, or small curve. Uh, this is what small curve looks like, and you can tell the is the uh, curvature of the uh, sign. You, this is the the stats that you can set to track: elimination, score, or eliminated. Uh, you can make it track for every round. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Uh, update registered player just means um, is it depends whoever is registered there like is it the highest killed player or the highest eliminated player or what vice versa do whatever you want activated by sequences basically does it trigger from a sequence the sequencer device which I might do I can type like how to play a piano series on you know I don't know how it goes uh, registered, registered by sequences, same thing, kind of, uh, allow, activate without player, um, reference, uh, I'm pretty sure it just means just have, just have it activate with, with, with or without the player, play audio, just audio effects, and then these are the most important, this is like the most important setting, register player when receiving from channel, Okay, this is going to be the most important like thing in the player reference device because you have to register it because it actually shows the hologram and makes it work. Okay, because without like obviously this makes it activate and like the mechanics activate, but this actually like makes the thing appear and show up in real in like in game. Uh, clear player, basically just get rid of their data. Activate, you know. Enable disabled, you know. When activated, you know. When tracked stats changed. When the stat, the, the, the tracker has been changed. It's quite simple. It's been, it's been changed. The, 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 it gets changed. When player updated, basically means when the player has been uh, updated. Like the uh, stats, like... Uh, like whatever the stats are, you just yeah, it literally says when a new player is registered, it just shows up the new player instead. 
um, when player update fails, when it fails, basically, um, you just have another channel for that, just in case. And when player replace, transmit channel on, and that's basically uh, how this entire device works. And the uh, channel part, I would say it's the most important part, but I'm going to show you a demonstration. These are the settings I put on. Uh, they are the important ones, but basically th this is what I believe is important. Let me just give it the marker, and as you can tell, it just activates. All the rest aren't, because I couldn't be bothered to do it on every single channel, but that's basically how it works, and uh, that's pretty much the uh, entire tutorial for you guys. Don't forget um, to leave a like and subscribe. See you in the next video, hopefully. Man, my life is...